All right, we've got a question here. Let's put on the hat. Let's get to step it up. Step it up. All right, we've got a question here. This is from my coaching group. If you want to join in my one-on-one -on -one coaching group, there's a group of people in there. Go to duranata.com. This, this, this question is a long one. It's a, it's a long one. I love these long questions, and I generally do video responses. Um, and there's a lot of back and forth and stuff. So we have a person here, they're 155 centimeters tall. So 155, so they're a pocket rocket at 155. That's a great height for a lot of sports. Good for cycling, good for running, good for gymnastics, good for a lot of things. Um, this person's, I, I feel like my ideal weight is 46 to 47 kilos. Yeah, I could, I could agree with that. They're currently about 52, which is very light as well. Um, you said in your book, I should aim for 10 grams of sugar per day, which is 520 grams for me. How do I measure that? Should I type stuff in the chronometer, or does it really matter? Um, my current strategy is to put uh, spoons of sugar randomly into my smoothies or my acid fruits and just eat until I don't want any more. Or and in the evening, cook myself some potatoes or rice or something and add a vegetable sauce, no oil, and I eat as much as I want. Plus, as of today, I started one hour cycling, which I plan to do every day from Monday to Friday. Plus, I drink a bunch of water, as you instruct in your book. Is this is a good strategy? Blah, blah, blah. This is this is great. This person's on point. Uh, luckily for them, luckily for them, they have a background in sport. Uh, I used to play semi-pro soccer, so it's got a running background, which is fantastic. You know, it, this whole lifestyle, um, not not this lifestyle, but their healthy lifestyle, which is this lifestyle, is so much easier if you do have an athletic background because we know that you need to be fit to be healthy. You can't be healthy and have no fitness. At the same time, fitness doesn't guarantee health, but you can't be healthy unless you're fit. Does that sound like a bit of a contradiction? We'll go deep into that one later. Um, an example would be, uh, I could have a cat in a cage, get a wild cat, put it in a cage, just you know, feed it on its wild diet, and then the cat's not really that healthy because it's not getting the exercise it needs. It's run around in circles in the cage, and then you have the cat, the wild cat, out in the bush eating its wild diet. And so that cat's fit and it's going to be healthier than the cat who's in the cage eating the good wild diet. But it can't do the exercise because it's just going crazy in the cage. So with humans, people are like, well, how does this, does this diet work if I'm not doing exercise, if I'm sedentary people? And it's like, well, you're that cat in the cage, man. Like that cat in the cage ain't going to be healthy, is it? You know, it's not gonna, the cat in the cage isn't going to be as healthy as the wild cat. Simple as that. All right. So use any animal for example. So you put a, and a human web is where. Humans are incredibly athletic creatures. We we thrive on a lot of athleticism, you know, walking, running, cycling, etc. Just just moving, you know, moving our bodies. But unfortunately, we have this society about oh, don't sweat, wear fashion clothing. Your woman shouldn't be sweating, shouldn't have a red face, shouldn't look ugly, should close your mouth when you exercise and pretend you're not even straining because your boss sees you or your colleague sees you and look down because you're looking you're stressing. You know, <laughs> we have all this shit going on. So the 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 rules for fitness. Are so high for most people, there's so many conditions, they're like, oh no, there's someone from work over there, I like, can't do that. So now it's all social distancing. <laughs> can't ride in the bunch because it's social distancing, can't play soccer or can't run, can't do a marathon in 2020 because it's social distancing. It's, it's insane. It's insane. People want to have kids, man. People are like, but what if you, what if you get a vasectomy and, and you regret it? Oh, you're like, you know, like, wouldn't it be great to leave a legacy like you do? And I was like, dude, coronavirus pandemic chaos it's just going to get worse anyway let's get back to the question so this person wants to get in their peak shape they want to get tight they already look they already look, they already this person already looks in great great shape i think they look great um but they want to go to the next level so to get that next level tightness in the body you need you just need your next level of fitness all right this is this is where people just don't understand they're like the average person just follows someone on, on social media and they're like, oh, I look like that. And then two, three, they go to the bicep curls and the gym, they're like, I'm like, where's my muscles? Where's my muscles? <laughs> they came with their mouth closed, like, 
Sorry, I ain't gonna do nothing. It's better than nothing, but I ain't gonna do nothing. You gotta do some straining, man. No straining, no gaining. And, uh, but this person's already been a high level athlete and they're already gonna have a good level of base fitness. So they understand how to get fit. So for someone like this, cycling can be fantastic for them because running is high impact. There's chances of injury. It's, you know, it takes time to get in, back into running. But with cycling, you can do an hour a day or five hours a day, or 10 hours a day if you want to. And the chances of injury are really, really low, you know, in terms of repetitive strain injuries. Uh, especially if you're paying attention to the road. And not go too crazy. And the corners and the downhills, etc. Just paying attention in traffic. Cycling is the greatest. And this person's also mentioned, uh, we'll get into this video. This video's sort of, we're, we're just tepid waters right now. We'll get a bit more deep into it. This also has a mention of Robert Morse. Robert Morse, who I did videos about eight years ago. Robert Morse, who you don't know, is, would you call him obese? You can call him overweight, he's got a gut, he looks like he's got a bit of a whiskey nose, a gambler, um, he looks like Kenny Rogers' shady cousin, basically, you know, he, he's a great speaker though, he's like, no, 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 no. he's just like, yeah, he's a words of affirmation speaker, so anyone who's in the words of affirmation will really vibe with Robert Morse, doctor, Holly, he's a doctor, and he seems like a doctor, man, he's as much of the doctor as I am, he's uh, got his doctorate from a diploma mill, just Google up Dr. Robert Mars, Robert Moore, scam, unqualified, whatever. You know, and this isn't like rumors or this is like legit. He, he's, he bought his doctorates from, anyone can get what he's got, their certificates. So it's just like, it's a joke. Anyway, so he's, Robert Morse's claim to fame is he promotes a fruit diet, which is great. But then he contradicts himself by saying sugar's bad, sugar's bad, sugar's bad, sugar's bad. The fruit's great. And it's like, hang on, fruit is sugar. You know, and it's like, it's like saying... <laughs> It's like saying corona disease is bad, you know, but if it's on you, if the corona's on your food, that's okay. If you sneeze in someone's face and you've got corona, that's bad. But if the corona's in the food with the fiber and the antigen, you know, it's like antioxidant thought. You know, it's like if arsenic, if you just drop arsenic in, in a glass of water and drink it, that's bad. But if you have arsenic in the food from the ground up, then that's okay. You know what I mean? Like the, the logic of, no, Harley, sugar's bad. Fruit's okay because it's got fiber. It's natural. Artificial sugar's like, su sucrose is natural. What do you think's in fruit is sucrose? What's in the bag cane sugar is sucrose. What, what happens when you add some cane sugar to your fruit smoothie or you chop fruit and make it sweet to get more calorie density? Good things happen. You know, people, sugar suppresses the immune system. How? You in hospital? They give you the dextro five uh, drip, glucose, sugar? You know, it brings your life? Oh, that's like a sugar rush. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with people who don't understand human biology. And then they get onto YouTube. This is a lot of people. This is many, many people. There's thousands of people. And they're mostly American. I don't know what it is. The Americans are so... <laughs> Americans... And I've got a lot of American friends. I'm not being racist here. I'm just saying that Americans... Oh, it's so easy to fucking, so easy to fool. You know, I've had Americans come to Australia and be like, watch out, there's a drop bear over there. The spider will jump up and bite you. And they're like, ooh. You know, they're just like, oh my God. <laughs> go, go in the Joe Rogan comment section and, and all the, oh man, it's insane. So Americans are massively gullible. I don't know why. This is general, I'm generalizing here. Americans are just so easy to fool. So easy to fool. It's crazy. Crazy. So easy to fool. I don't know. Aussies are a bit more smarter, a bit more street smart, but Americans, man. I don't know what it is. I do if you know, let me know down below. And so guys like Robert Morse, man, they just they just make millions of dollars off these gullible Americans who think that he is this uh, guru because he promotes fruit. And uh and fruit's great, fruit's excellent, fruit's essential. Fruit is my favorite food. But Robert Morse, when he says you don't need to drink water, the dry fasting is good. Get the kidneys filtering. Get the kidneys. F like, you know, people are actually urinating blood on Instagram. And Robert Morse is like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Do a Skype consult with me. 500 bucks. We'll look into your eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally, he's charging people $500 to 
to look into their eyeballs for iridology. Yeah, you, you need to pump the lymph. I don't look like I pumped the lymph for the last 40 years. I pumped the lymph with the bar of my chicken whiskey. I pumped the, I pumped the pokey machine head. I pumped my lymph for all that noob cash I'd taken from those gullible noob niggas. You know, that, that's why I was like, it's fucking hell. Oh, man. So Robert Morse is saying, don't drink water. Just eat fruit. Um, lymph pump. Or, or, I don't know. And he sells these herbs, man. <laughs> Let's talk about the Robert Robert Morse herbs. I know a girl who works for him. Her name's Hannah, and uh, she's from Chiang Mai, Thailand, originally from New Zealand. And she's just type in Hannah Duran Rider Michael Norvegian Hebo scandal. She'll come up. She was a legal sex worker. She's now working for Robert Morse. Um, at his little herb clinic, and, so, and there's nothing wrong with being a sex worker. There's nothing wrong with being a legal sex worker. I'm just saying, this is the sort of people who are chasing quick money, who work for Morse, etc. Morse is multi-millionaire, and saying, "Yeah, I'm busy. I'm saving, saving thousands of people, and I'm I'm a man of God. I'm a spiritual man." He's got illegal sex workers working for him for his social media stuff, and he's got. Uh, you know, he's, he's claiming he's a man of God. And look how much money he charges for his little herbs and stuff, which are coming, which God knows what's in them. God knows what's in them. God knows where they came from. And uh, I remember watching a video where Morse is like, you know, I just channel, I'm channeling God. I don't even know what the dosages are. I'm just, I'm just channeling the Lord and putting it into my bottles. And the Lord's telling me how much to charge for this night. What's that, Jesus? 1995, yeah. Oh, oh Lord. $340? Really? Okay, I'll do that. God bless herbs. God's herbs. <laughs> so, and people are just like throwing the money at this dude. And I'm just like, man, this is just hilarious. This is just hilarious. So that's one part of the video. Um, The, the more thing, I just have to laugh. Yeah, and then you go and you talk a bit of stuff about more. You probably through some of the comments. Oh, do it right. You don't know anything. Morse is a good guy. I'll give it, he's a great speaker, and he gets people hyped up. 10, 10 out of 10 points for that. You can judge someone's integrity by what they sell, and more importantly, how much they actually sell it for. Right? So if Morse came through this man of spiritual, man of God, but he's charging that much money when he's already a multi-millionaire of finessing gullible Americans, etc. beforehand, you know he's just a charlatan, in my opinion. Um... You know, it's, uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this. So this person brought up Dr. Morse. Doctor, why am I calling him Dr. Morse? <laughs> He's not a doctor. I should call him Scammer Morse. It is a scam, really. It's, uh, it's a scam. It's a scam. He told, he's told people before that if they have a, a severed spinal column, they can walk again. If they buy enough of his herbs, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's dodgy, man. That's dodgy. And, um, you know, there's one thing about being optimist, but there's one thing about scamming people and giving them false hope, you know, just to, hey, you spent $10,000. If we get the $20,000 program, I'm going to channel, God, how much we charge this sucker over here? $50,000. God's, God's willing. MasterCard or Visa, you know. So that's what we're dealing with. Anyway, it's how to get into the peak shape. Don't follow Dr. Mortox. Say it again. I said it again. Don't follow Morse code, because Morse code looks like a fat, drunk Kentucky dude who's just rolled out of KFC. All right, so you can follow his thing, but it ain't gonna give. You, if he can't get in shape himself, then he ain't gonna get you in shape either. So if you're over here, um, women want this tight tone package physique, and that comes with high carb, low fat. Consistent calories, thyroid health. Thyroid is number one, really. Because you can do all the training in the world. You can do all the dieting in the world and caffeine and drugs and fasting and all that stuff, which fasting really just depletes your thyroid, makes it very sluggish, elevates your TSH, your thyroid stimulating hormone because your T3 and T4 just <laughs> drop out the floor because not enough carbohydrates, not enough calories. And then so your thyroid hormones, your TSH, your thyroid stimulating hormone from your pituitary gets stimulated that's hypothyroidism, aka Hashimoto's, which is rampantly common in any woman who's done diets in the 80s or the 90s, or now you see the girls in the Instagram diets, no carbs, carbs bad, and they're just having to take le levothyroxine for life, etc., because they're just blown out their thyroid from doing these carb-restricted diets. 
and that's not what we want to go for, is it? And uh, so yeah, yeah, thyroid's everything. You gotta have a thyroid health. But the, I see the pictures of this lady. She's got looks like she got pretty good thyroid function. Because it looks like she hasn't done any water fasting or juice fasting, etc. Juice fasting and water fasting are the worst things for a woman's body. If the goal of the woman is that tight toned athletic physique like Natasha's got, etc., and then Natasha's never done a water fast, a juice fast, or whatever, people are like, she's only young, she doesn't need to do that. Well, there's people out there who would debate that and say, you oh, should do that, you know, 5G radiation, it's like, heavy metals, you've got to detox it out of the fast and, and <laughs> morses, God's herbs and, and all this nonsense. And then the people who never really get results. Uh, recently, there was a breatharian guy, quote me if I'm wrong, shot his dad dead. Now, we don't know the full context of the story. It could have been a justified shooting. It could have not have been. It could have been a total psychosis meltdown. But just a few days ago, there was a, a doctor, <laughs> I said it again, there was a morse a scammer Morse um, devotee who shot dead his dad. I think it was in Florida. Um, we'll get some more information on that. So we don't know the full context yet, or else I'm not trying to like, you know, do a media thing. So I was shot dead. But that's what's happened. And now we've got to get the context behind that. Was it justified? Was it self defense? Or was it just a, an undercard meltdown? Uh, we'll find out. But, you know, so you got that. That's the world I don't like. To, I no longer hang in that spiritual woo woo fasting, Bethlehemism, yeah, juice fasting, detox, Morse is a legend, what well, number state? That sort of reality is like, okay, you know, you stay over there, you know, you crazies, stay over in that little corner, be good. I'm more into this, you know, pragmatic reality where you really get results, you spend as little money as possible, you're eating rice, you're eating your sugars, you're eating a lot of fruit. You are on your bike, you're helping the environment, you're getting stuff done versus sitting in the lotus position, hiding it for anorexia or whatever, you know? It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. There's this girl on Instagram, I think it's fasting with Alice in Wonderland or something, clearly got some EDs going on there and just using fasting to hide that and, and baiting myself and freely on Instagram the other day for hashtag and rotal for etc. trying to say it doesn't work, doesn't work. So we're all... The photos you're using is from a dry fast. And this is, this is how desperate people are to lose weight. They're going to dry fast. That's like, and she put up some pictures in which you literally, there's, you can see blood in the urine and they're trying to claim that's detox. And I said, well, you, sh you should go and do some kidney tests to prove to us you don't have severe kidney damage. And they're like, I know my body, I don't need to do that. That's really irresponsible. And a few nurse and doctor friends of mine said, yeah, that girl's definitely urinating blood sort of share the pictures around and so this is what we've got we've got and she's a, a die-hard morse fan all right so you know and not all the things morse says are bad but most of it is absolute rubbish and i'll do a separate video about that the guy's not in shape if your girls if your goal is to get in shape don't listen to a guy who's not in shape no matter how good of a speaker he is no matter how many of this he does, or how many, oh, he does, or he does, or he does, all right? That's just all little American scammer techniques, NLP. Um, so my forte is definitely women's conditioning, you know? And you see it in my girlfriends over the years, you see it in the people who've helped with weight loss over the years, with the careers I've built over the years. So my tip for this person is just, yeah, just lock on to what you're doing now, the, the carbs, the early nights, the, you know, the caffeine free. Use music instead of caffeine. Right, music's a far, far better vibe builder than caffeine ever will be. And, um, you know, so do those things. Keep doing that. And what else can we answer more questions on that one? If it answered the, basically, this person just wants to look even better, even hotter. Um, another one is, can I achieve that level of healing with added sugars? You know, so this is where we get into this detox world as well. This, like, this detox. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to detox, detox, detox. And that's really often just this guy's for anorexia. Or can slip into that. Because maybe you're, you're not anorexia. You can, you sort of, this is a bit, might be about me. I, I was like that. I was like a detox, detox. Gonna be pure and be better on the bike and you know, be fast. And all this. So I started sort of restricting different types of food groups and stuff like that. 
and just eating fruit, and then it's like, I'm just gonna eat organic fruit, and like, I'm just gonna eat local fruit, I'm just gonna eat like tree up and local fruit, and eventually I was like, my ability to get enough calories was just non-existent, and I was like, withering away, and some people are like, yeah, that's good, that's good, you got really skinny, yeah, yeah, but my performance was just like, Pff. you know, and, and it was, it wasn't working good, you know, my relationship was starting to feel down, I'm just like, what am I doing, I remember riding on the flat road, getting dropped at 250 watts, and I'm like, this ain't good. This isn't performance. This isn't health, you know. And so I started adding the dates. I started adding more bananas. The hybrid fruits, the bad fruits. And my performance went up. And I started adding in some rice and some oats. My performance went, oh! And then I started adding refined sugar. And my performance went, Vroom! right up. And my, everything went better. My, my, all, my digestion was, everything was just better, you know. Um, and the more you can train, the more you can detox, you know. Because you're breathing so much, you're eliminating through your lungs. So if you're really into detox and you really got to be into training, you know, don't be into like sitting down doing nothing. Water fasting's not de water fasting's not detox, right? Training, breathing in thousands of liters of oxygen, that's detox. It takes three kilos of oxygen to burn one kilo of fat. So the more you're breathing, riding your, your bike for commuting transport, the more you're breathing oxygen, the more fat you're burning. So you'll come to a point where you're, you're too lean and you need to back off the training, all right? Increase your fats, simple as that. And so that's my tip. So this, this yes, sugar is so essential for healing, for detox, because with the more sugar you have, the more you can pump your muscles. And we know that lymph fluid is primarily pumped via muscular contraction. So if you're doing push-ups, you get that chest pump, you do the arm pump, you do running, you go get leg pump, you get this face pump when you're... You know, you move in your whole body, it's pump, that's your lymph system going around. Can you imagine Morse running a marathon? <laughs> like he could run to the bend of the bar, he could run to the poking machines to cash in, he could run across the park, car park maybe to pull 500 bucks off someone for a Skype car park iridology test, but otherwise. <clears throat> Crazy. Don't drink water, kids. Don't drink water at all. Far out. This is the worst advice ever. And now the question is, <clears throat> most of my clients are not in it for weight loss, <clears throat> but more to reverse some serious stuff, heart disease, etc. Yeah, that's, that's, and, that, and they'll get the benefits. Look up the Kempner Rice Diet. Kempner Rice Diet was designed to reverse heart conditions, type 2 diabetes. The Kempner Rice Diet was sugar, white refined sugar, white rice, fruit, and fruit juice. You know, that was it. And all these patients had kidney issues, so there was wasn't even any salt allowed. I do recommend salt, unless you do have some kidney issues or some blood pressure issues. But blood pressure issues will drop very quickly uh, on my lifestyle within a number of days. Your blood pressure will go from high hypertension to down to normal, you know, to good healthy blood pressure. And that's that's like, that's just what's going to happen. Um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So. And let's talk about mucus. There was, I was coughing some music, mucus. That def definitely uh, could be many things. The mucus could be wax from the fruit. It could be p a pesticides in the fruit. There could be some, some canned spam back in 1986 we ate. It could be, we don't know. No one knows that. No one knows the exact cause of the mucus. Someone's like, hey, you got, you got mucus. Like, if you speak a lot, if you move a lot, you produce more mucus. Is that deep level, 10th level detox? Who knows? I know a supplement seller like, Morse, like, yeah, that's detox. You need this. You need the tinctures. Get the tinctures. We've got a special on this week. God, what was that? Jenny needs. Jenny, you need the tinctures. How many packets of six months supply, Jenny? Mastercard or Visa? God, oh PayPal. PayPal, we prefer. You know. <laughs> so the mucus is always going to come in and out. Um, you know. So yeah, I, I would also recommend. I see that the. the the numbers coming here was the kilos and stuff. I would recommend people don't weigh themselves. All right, I would rec I would highly recommend never weighing yourself. Really, there's no need to weigh yourself. The only time you need to weigh yourself is if you're a boxer, professional fighter, and you have got to make weight on that day. Okay, we'll get it. But you know, what I mean, for ninety nine percent of us, scales really don't do anything positive for people. They create this fixation. It's like oh, I'm fifty two now. I'm fifty there. Forty seven kilos. No, when I'm there, I'll be I'm happy. I can be. But it's like, you might be totally shit at 47 kilos. You might not have sex drive, your dick don't work, your, 
it will dry, or who knows what happens at 47 kilos. Or you might be, you know, really good shape. But then again, you know, 47 would be, that's pretty lean. This person's in good shape now. So it also depends on your quality of your life. Do you have, does this, do, do, this isn't just for this person, this is for anyone listening. This, do you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Or do you have a side chick or a side guy or a husband? Or what, what do you have? Do you have employees or you're an employer or, or you're an employee? Like, what's going on in your life? Do you need to perform at a certain level? So if you're too skinny, can you even do the job properly? Are you a bit of a, like, eh, to be around? Are you always, you know, on edge? Are you like, Arr! you know, you run on the caffeine and it's anxious? Who cares how good you look? I'll tell you what, man, I've seen some of the, or known or had some of the hottest women around, but... And some of them are just crazy because they're just starving to get that lean. And I'm like, yeah, I'm bored of this already. Within 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, you should have kept your mouth quiet because this ain't going anywhere further than this. And that's just from calorie restriction, carb restriction, all right? And at the same time, there's, I had some people in my life who were, you know, who were getting off calories and in good shape or maybe a little bit over, you know, over, overweight, but still good fun to be around because they've got some you know, some energy there, some passion. So, you know, passionate people are always welcome, aren't they? Passionate, honest people just want to have fun and help people. That's that's a rarity. That's a very rare. And so that's what people got to, as well, is it is that, you know, people go, oh, well, I've got to be a certain look for to be an influencer. Well, look at Morse. Morse is a middle-aged man who looks like a pawn shop owner, <laughs> you know, selling stolen trumpets in Idaho. You know, like, he's got a gut, hangs over his belt, and uh, he doesn't. Look, he wouldn't look out of place as a Kenny Rogers stunt double in a bar fight, right? And yet, he's a multi-millionaire from selling people bogus herbs and iridology stuff for five hundred bucks over Skype. So you don't have to look like Natasha, you know. You don't if you're a friend. You don't. That I mean that's that's you know that's that's good marketing there, but it's not essential. And you don't have to look like this uh, Adonis person either, you know. You can be like Morse and uh, and be crushing it money-wise. But again, you'll be fleecing people. Um, but you can look any condition if you're giving people good advice. People with brains will take it up. And you'll look, look a certain part as well. Here's the thing. <clears throat> no matter how we look, someone will say, oh, you're too thin. Or you're too fat, or you're too tall, or you're too short, or you're too this, or you're too that, your boobs are too big, or your boobs are too small, or your boobs, one's a bit left and right, like it, your eyes or your teeth, or you know, you don't have enough hair, you got too much hair, you're hairy, you're unhairy, like you're an albino mouse cat, like, people always say something, like, you, you know, you're never going to be perfect, ever, ever. All right, and so, you know, so whatever's happening in your life, that's, uh, that's very important to be, you know, having enough energy to do that. So I'll get rid of the scales and I'll ask myself, you know, how good is the quality of life I'm living right now? You know, how good is it? Like, am, am I in total control of my mood and my thoughts? Am I, do I have enough energy to do what I'm doing? Am I missing out in life because I'm listening to scammers and charlatans who say sugar's bad or fruit's bad or rice is bad or... People in there might not even be a scam or charlatan. They might genuinely believe that sugar's bad, that fruit's bad, that white rice is bad. They might the water's bad. They might genuinely believe that. They're just a noob. They're like they're passionate. And they don't do this. Then you, they might just be totally nice people, but just totally misinformed. And these people just miss out massively in life. And if you're going to follow their advice, you're also going to miss out massively because you'll be walking down the wrong street, all right? a bad street with a bad ending versus this street, the right street. Fitness, health, vitality, emotional control, vibrancy, energy, passion, persistence, purpose in life, saving money, eco, not getting scammed and finessed by old uncle. Where's no, 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 no. <laughs> Can you imagine me getting scammed? When was the last time I got scammed? Probably in 2005 when I bought Dave Wolf's chocolate, raw chocolate. Actually, I got scammed when I bought a S Works Epic. Anyway, that's bikes. That's a different story. But you know, like scam, scam. You know, life's lifestyle scammed. Far out, man. Dry fasting, fruit only diet with fear of everything else. No water. Destruction of fitness. Destruction of fitness. Detox happens when you're fit, and you detox happens all the time. Whether you're unfit as well, but peak detox. Getting into fitness, 
low fat diet, lots of water. So you're pissing clear two or three hours, going to bed early, emotional poise, hanging out with people that lift you up and or self isolating if you can't find those people. That's where real health is and real performance is and real aesthetic is and real life passion is. So hopefully this video is helpful. If not, give a thumbs down. If, if you do find it helpful, give a thumbs up. Let's do a follow on. Let's follow on from this. You know, this, this conversation never ends. People are like, teach us something new. This is the same stuff I was saying back in 2008, in 2003. It's, it's just, it doesn't change. I mean, my format of approach changes, but the fundamentals just high carb, low fat, vegan, water, cycling, walking, nature, sunshine, early nights, breathing, avoiding the, <laughs> avoiding the P. Anacellus from Montana, you know, just whatever. Anyway. We'll see you next video.